for the addition of two new career tech ed classes. Uh, Principal Lancina has been working with outside vendors and local partners as well as the state of Michigan to help put the plan in place to formally propose the addition of public safety and mechatronics. Once finalized, Marianne and I will have Principal Lancina present the overview of these courses to the board and review any questions that you might have. Uh, both these courses have the potential to draw in many students from our neighbor districts as we would be one of only two districts in all of Southeast Michigan to offer a comprehensive public safety course. So a course that could hit um, fire, EMS, and police. So that would be phenomenal. Excited to see that uh, help, help uh, get up and running and off the ground. Um, last week I met with Sheriff Freddie <coughs> Napoleon and Mike Morse from the Morse Law Firm uh, to discuss a plan um, with the Morse Firm and with Meyer to do a backpack drive. I know this year we did a, a backpack drive at the start of the year. Um, and what we're talking about is one a little bit wider than that. So rather than about 450 backpacks, we're talking about close to 5,000 backpacks. Um, providing a completely stuffed backpack with all the binders, the notebooks, the rulers, the paper, the calculator, pens, pencils, literally everything for every kid K-8. And so what a phenomenal opportunity this is. I'll be working on uh, the details of this. Um, there will be an opportunity for a camera crew who will be uh, videoing a backpack delivery and we will uh, get to select one building principal and some teachers and support staff uh, at that school and some students to, uh, to kind of you know showcase that as we roll it out. And um, the sheriff has offered his employees and vehicles to assist with distribution of uh, about 4,900 or 4,800 backpacks to all of our schools. So excited to keep, keep looking ahead and, and, and doing the behind the scenes work on that. And uh, kind of wrap it up with what Kathy talked about a moment ago. Um, today, Kathy Fields and, and Dr. Sear and I um, did have an opportunity to, to meet with the mayor and um, staff down there at City Hall. Big thanks to all the employees of the city of Taylor and, of course, um, to the Taylor School District support staff. And a big thank you also to Taylor Ford. Taylor Ford donated a big F-350 to all the box of toys, and Kathy was not exaggerating. The box is probably four and a half foot by four and a half foot by almost five foot tall. And so Kathy's going to need a step stool to climb up in that thing to get the toys out of it. Um, but it is packed to the gills, and I'm excited that we'll have an opportunity um, to share uh, share toys with uh, with all the all the folks uh, that the principals helped identify uh, from the elementary school that could benefit. Um, so for the upcoming break, please be safe if you're traveling. Enjoy time with family and friends. Sorry that was so long, but had a lot of good stuff to talk about. Marianne? Teachers are learning the ins and outs of thoughtful classroom and principals are working hard learning the new school advanced tool. Rich conversations are taking place regarding teaching, lesson design, school improvement, and professional goals. It's so important that all staff see this process as opportunities for growth as opposed to an I gotcha model. Reminders are given to the leadership team to promote this sentiment with their staff. The school improvement team has been meeting twice a week for the last few months to continue to work on the coaching model that we will present early in the new year. As we examine budgets, it looks promising that we will be able to create a team that will support teacher coaching as well as be able to support the social and emotional needs of our students, and this team would be in each one of our buildings. This week, the school improvement leadership team is hosting the ELA committee, principals, and the TFT executive to discuss the possibility of launching two ELA pilots at the elementary level. Both pilots have a balanced literacy approach. If everyone is in agreement, the approach um, would have both pilots into schools, Myers and Taylor Parks. It's very important to give teachers voice and choice since they're the ones doing the heavy lifting with our students. The TSD technology team met again this month. We continue to be encouraged with the support, interest, and attendance from staff of all bargaining units. With a bond that recently passed, we're excited to do some creative planning. Tierney Computer Services served as the guest speaker at the meeting and showcased the newest state-of-the-art projection device. This device is much like a smart board or a giant iPad on wheels that moves around the class to meet the needs of students. This advance in technology speaks to high-quality differentiation. 
The counselors from Middle and High School, along with School Improvement Leadership Team, met last week to discuss language and the curriculum guides, career and college readiness, along with the best way to assist students in the transition from one level to the next. We'll meet again to discuss these issues in the new year. Since April of 2015, Taylor School District has recycled 70,000 pounds of outdated or unusable equipment from the PRC using a company called Green Tech Recyclers. According to National Geographic, the average Asian elephant weighs 10,000 pounds, so it looks like we have recycled close to seven elephants. <laughs> Mr. Williams uh, uh, and uh, Mrs. Fields and I, as um, Mrs. Fields mentioned and Mr. Will Mr. Williams mentioned, went over to City Hall, and we've given lots of kudos, but I also want to make sure that we give special thanks to um, Kathy Fields, Lois Ruggiero, Terry Dreger, Joe and Cindy Forth, and our LEGO Robotics team for organizing and wrapping all of these gifts. It takes a village, but somehow we always make it happen. This is testimony to the commitment Taylor staff has to its community. We're hoping to make this a yearly event. Finally, we also need to thank Heritage Free Will Baptist Church, a lot seal coat and striping, and Doug and Robin Myers for their generosity this holiday season. The Myers family provided 10 meals for TSD families, and Heritage added that to that number by adding five meals. Again, the spirit of holiday giving is alive and well in Taylor. Mr. Myers is hopeful that next year, even more community members will join his family and his church, so more of our families can benefit from this kind of activity. And I wish everyone a very happy holiday and happy new year. Motion. I have a motion by Mr. Zanin and support by Mr. Huncock that we approve or accept the superintendent and the assistant superintendent's report. Any discussion on those? Say thank you on the thoroughness of your reports. Yes. Yes. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Passes 6 0. Next item. 4.01 committee report. Anyone have any committee report tonight? We did not have any finance committee, but if we could have one on January 23rd uh, at 430, that would be fantastic. by Mrs. Delaney, supported by Mr. Zorn, that um, we the committee reports tonight. Any discussion on that? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Pass the 6 0 next item. 5.01 overnight field trip request. Motion. Support. Motion by Mrs. Delaney, supported by Mr. Honeycutt, that we accept the overnight field trip request for Kingman Elementary. Any discussion on this? I just have a question. This says uh, transportation. Title one, but it's for an overnight camp. So was the camp paid for or for something by another sort? I'm sorry, Mr. Lord, can you say that again for me, please? It says funding source transportation has a code number by it, and then Title one is the camp paid out of Title one or transportation? Yes. It's paid out of the O1 account, and Title one is paying for the camp. I'll have to look into that. I'm sorry, I wasn't on the I just looked at it um, before the meeting started. 